Welcome to the farmer segment. My name is Yvonne Barrow, the Gender Equality Officer on the SAC project being implemented by the Royal University Service of Canada with funding from the Government of Canada through the Global Affairs Canada. The SAC project supports the farmer initiative to motivate women and youth farmers to increase their access to information, capacity strengthening, and innovation that will increase the productivity and profitability in the agriculture sector and climate smart agricultural practices. Today you are joining us in Canal No. 2 Conservancy on the west bank of Demerara in Guyana. Our farmer guest for today is no other than Ms. Parbati Singh, commonly known as Samantha. Now we are standing in your green, lovely and leafy garden. Can you tell us what led you to farming? Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm a farmer, a housewife and a mother. I'm 35 years old. I grew up in a farming community where my grandparents and my parents were farmers and I got married to a farmer and I also joined with him doing farming. We plant a variety of crops like lettuce, pak choy, kale, mint, balanje and a whole lot more. Wow, that's a lot you have going on Samantha. Definitely it's a green and leafy garden, right? Yeah. Okay, but this land, who does it belong to and how many years have you been a farmer? I am farming almost 15 to 16 years and right about now I'm renting this piece of plot here that I'm planting on because of flooding and so on I had to take the opportunity to go and rent. So what do you do on the farm? What are your roles as a female farmer? Well I assist in purchasing seedling, I plant, I have to spray, I go to market, I reap. So you do a little bit of everything? Yes. And you do it all alone or you get support? I got support from my husband. And what about the children? Well, they are supporting in and out whenever it's holiday, off school, they are there. So Samantha, you recently participated in our Demonstration Plus trial with input provider Absol. Now the trial lasted for six weeks where they practice open field application on some of your seedlings. Can you please share with us, what was your experience like? I learned about drenching of the beds before planting, which I never knew. I used Seattle Gold, Nutrisoil and Victory for the pest and the disease, the fungicide on the bed. And these names you're calling, these are some of the products that you are able to access from Absol? Yes. So Samantha, what crop did you use in the demonstration trials? Well, we did lettuce poi, kale, and some parsley. Oh wow, you are not straying away from the green at all. All right, Samantha, now I know everything has an end and a result. Can you please share some of the results from your participation in the trial? Well, I got very good results because first, when I didn't use this input, it was very stressful for me because there was a lot of pest and disease. But since I start using Aspal product, inputs. I see a lot of improvement in my garden where I get bigger greener leaf. You could, as you could see the lettuce and the pak choy, they are more greener and bigger, shelf lasting and um, marketing. I got a lot of compliments for my green, for the vegetables. It lasts and longer. I got more customers coming in and saying it really lasting long in their fridge. Well, with the weather now that we are facing in, in Guyana here, I started to use the shade house, as you could see, raisin at the bed when it's rainy season, and sprinkle I have here using for the sunny weather, All right, but I also drainage also. Samantha, there is, has been so much results you shared with us. Did we miss anything? Oh, yes. Before I start to use upsell input, I used to harvest like the Pak choy four to five weeks, but now I'm harvesting three weeks. Mm -hmm. The lettuce was six wow. weeks, now I'm harvesting four to five weeks. Four, five weeks. Yes. Now, Samantha, there is a lot of information that we're sharing and more women and young people can learn from this. Can you tell me, where do you access information from? How do you learn as a woman? Well, through my farming group, that's from Nari, I got a call from Aspal saying they want to do a trial with SAC project. project. 
on my garden. So I take the opportunity and I did it. And I was very happy that I did it. Okay, and this farming group to Nari, it connects you with other farmers that you can learn from? Yes. Oh, that's great. So you all get to access information and learn to a farmer approach. Yes. Beautiful, Samantha. Now, how do you feel since your participation? It's been a few months. Do you feel there has been an increase in confidence? Yes, I feel very happy and stress-free, I would say. Okay, what about decision making? Are you able to make better decisions as a result? Yes, well, um, since I start using this input and I see my gardens coming better and I'm not getting the disease and the fungicide and so on, I started to put in more crops, more different types of crops in my garden. I do in papaya, I do in shallot now, I do some celery, I start to do the balanche. What does APSOL mean? APSOL stands for Agricultural and Public Health Solutions. At APSOL, we have a lot of solutions that we can offer clients and growers. And what we do is we tailor our programs to suit specific needs. In this trial, we would have focused on growing healthier crops to maximize production and also for the crops and the program to be resilient in relation to the climate change that farmers always experience. Okay, and I know Samantha made mention of some of these inputs already. Can you please remind us? I know you heard victory. Yes. Yeah, the, the name alone, you know, it shows like you're winning a battle. Victory so, and what else? So, um, Nutrisoil is a soil amendment or soil conditioner um, product which has humic fulvic acid in it and helps to stimulate soil microbes so that the soil conditions can be better for crop growth. We have Victory, which is a fungicide, and we know in this area there's a lot of fight after a fungus, a soil borne. And what we did was a preventative treatment so that it protected the, the crop so that the crop can then thrive better. And then Cetagol was added to that tank mix in order to ensure there's enough phosphate and enough calcium for the crops. So that was the soil treatment. Going on later in the crop, we did weekly treatment of insecticide and nutrition. One of the main nutrition products used in these trials is a product called Bounty Crop XL. What do you think of the approach that was used? I think the approach was great. First of all, I must commend the networking that happened here. Absol always support our growers in their needs. But in these trials, we found that we were able to network with farmer groups. Information flowed throughout that network where other farmers learned from the experience one about best practices and that information was shared around into other groups as well. The main um, learnings from these trials and benefit is that farmers are now equipped with the knowledge of more inputs that they could use at specific times. I understand and I trust that our farmers viewing, they understand too. On the SAC project, we believe in providing access to information that can increase the economic benefit of women, youth, and men as well. My name is Yvonne Barrow. Thank you for joining us on the Farmer Segment.